Greetings folks, my name is Anto. Welcome back to another Foundry video. Today I want to show you one of the main reasons that I made the switch from Fantasy Grounds, which is what I used to use, over to Foundry. And that is a particular module that lets you bring in all of your D&D Beyond content. So I have a press account on D&D Beyond, which means I get access to all of the books. And I wanted to keep all of that and use all of that in my games and having this module to import them into Foundry is a game changer when it comes to ease of use. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to fire up Foundry, head over to add on modules, then you're going to go to install module. When it brings up this little pop up up here in the right where it says package name, just search for beyond and you'll get the D&D Beyond Importer by Mr. Primate. Hit that, click it and install. It will go ahead and install that and then you can and head over to your game worlds. I'm gonna do this on just my test world. Fire that up and you can then head over to the cog settings up here to the edit settings. Click on manage modules and you'll see that unless you have a bunch of modules like I do, you will just have the D&D Beyond Importer there. Hit that and click save module settings and that will reload your world with that module enabled. And you can go back over to your game settings, click on configure settings and then over here on module settings, you'll have your D&D Beyond Importer. The very first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is go into Core Setup, and that'll allow you to change some of the information, such as where your image is gonna store. Now with the free version of this importer, you're gonna be able to pull characters over from D&D Beyond and pull a little bit of other information, but you're not gonna be able to get everything. To be able to get everything, you need to be a patron of Mr. Primate. So I went ahead and signed up for that. And if you have a look in the settings, you have the option to link your Patreon to this module so it will permanently update and allow you to do that. So with the Patreon all linked up, we're just about ready to go ahead and get started using the DMD Beyond content in Foundry. There are a couple more features here in the settings, but they're not ones that you really need to worry about. So you can change how some of the compendiums display. You have a few more options. The only one I would really consider here would be to allow all users to sync to DD Beyond, to allow players the option to update their own characters. It's really easy to do so as the GM, so I don't keep this ticked, but it is an option if you wanted to. And then you have dynamic DD Beyond update setup. Now this allows you to take information you've added to a character in Foundry and update the DD Beyond character with that new information. This is really handy if you've got a group that plays in person and virtually because they can keep all their characters updated on D&D Beyond. And then when you're playing virtually, you play using Foundry. And when you're playing at the table, they can just load up their D&D Beyond character sheets. So with the setup out of the way, we need to talk about how to use this module. Now, the first way that you want to do this is by using it to import characters. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to go over to our actors directory. We're going to create an actor that's a player character. And for this, we're just going to call them test click on create new actor and then you can see there's this D&D Beyond button here. If we click that we're going to get a variety of options that will allow us to import our characters. To start off up here we've got the URL that you just paste in the link for your character and then you can choose some of the options. Choose what you want to update so you might want to bring in some information about character but you might not want to change some of their options like currency or HP and then you also have update configuration. So we want to use the icons from the inbuilt directory or use the icons from the SRD and then how we want to import different options like import D&D Beyond Actions as features not weapons that might be something that you want to do I leave everything as standard by default and then just click start import and see what you're left out with you see here we get a little box that asks us to choose the resources for a character I'm using my barbarian character here blaze and we have three different resources that we can track so I want to track my rage as a barbarian my magic awareness is going to be my secondary resource and my third resource doesn't actually have anything as standard so we're just going to leave that blank and then we're going to hit default and what that will do is that will import the character Character, it pulls in the character image from the indie beyond it updates all of the options and then it brings in all of the weapons and all of the features as well so with only a few clicks you can create characters really easily the next thing that you're going to want to do in this module is you want to be able to import monsters to do this you're going to go ahead and go over to the compendium and then you're going to hit the muncher up here now what this does is it allows you to import monsters as and when you need them there are a lot of monsters 
classes on D&D Beyond. So if it imported them all, it would make your foundry run much more sluggish. So instead you bring monsters in as and when you need them. So to do that, we go over to the monsters tab. We go down here to the search filter and then we start searching for whatever we want. So if we wanted to bring in a skeleton, for example, we type in skeleton and we hit monster munch. And what that's gonna do is gonna download 10 monsters that have got skeleton in the name. If you wanna use the exact name match, you will be able to pull in exactly the monster that you want, one monster at a time. But I leave it fairly vague and just go for a rough approximation of the name I want and then pull in them all of the monsters. And then we can go here on the right here where it says D&D Beyond Monsters. Hit that and you'll see that we've got all of the skeletons from D&D Beyond and where the pictures are available, it has pulled them in and it will give you all of their options, give you their features, allow you to drag them into combat, give them tokens that you can apply to maps, all done for you. And this is the big reason that I wanted to use this module and why I made the switch over to Foundry. As new books are released, it was getting really tiresome to manually enter any monsters that I wanted to use into Fantasy Grounds. So being able to do this with a few clicks of a button, much more convenient. And then also in the Muncher, if you go over to Experimental, you can pull in class and class features, feats, racial and race features, as well as any token frames that you've got from D&D Beyond. So I've gone ahead and click on class and classes. So if I click over here on D&D Beyond classes, you can see it will have pulled in all of the classes and all of the subclasses from D&D Beyond. And that's a really useful way to keep track of how classes work without having to leave the Foundry page. And the same with items, you can go ahead and munch items. So if we go ahead and download that, that will take a little while because it will download all of the items available for D&D Beyond. So you can see that it's doing that now and then it will start populating all of these options here on the left add in all of their information and then over time it will also add all of the icons where appropriate i hope this was useful for you i hope it shows you how powerful foundry as a system can be we're going to do a bunch more foundry videos coming up in the future including a basic kind of how to use all of the different elements of it and i'll also be covering some of the other smaller tips and tricks that i find really useful in future videos so make sure to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with all of that but until next time happy gaming